starvation is. These images of these emaciated kids were taken less than a week ago. And numbers from the United Nations shows that he is just one, this shot, just one of well over three million people. Three million people. Most of them are children who are badly malnourished there. Well, let's uh, speak to the representative to Yemen from the UN's Agency for Children. Merrick Sel uh, Rolano joining us now live from Geneva. Uh, and thank you for that. Just how bad are things in Yemen? I would say that the situation is dramatic. We have 2.2 uh, million children now with malnutrition in the country, and out of those, 462 are suffering from severe acute malnutrition. This is uh, three times the rates that we had uh, three years ago, actually, in 2014. And the situation is equally worrisome in the north of the, of, of the country, even in uh, big areas such as Hodeida, and even in the south. So the situation is really dramatic. You have said as an agency that Yemen has lost a decade's worth of gains in public health as a result of war and economic crises. And you see uh, the number of kids succumbing to malnutrition increasing all the time. What is it going to take to reverse that dramatic headline? It's very important to invest in, the, in, in preventing the collapse of the health system. This is one of the main factors. Definitely we need to, we need to have access to food in the country, but also the, the health system, as I said, needs to be uh, upgraded in order to provide support to all those children. In addition, we are continuing the support to restoring water and sanitation and, um, and education to the families in order to improve uh, the, the quality of the, of the care of the children. But basically, is the health system that needs to be improved. But there is a serious conflict ongoing there. We all know that. We've just been reporting on the very latest uh, from that conflict. Last August, uh, Doctors Without Borders pulled its teams out of northern Yemen after this airstrike on one of its hospitals there. Explaining that decision then, the group wrote that the bombing was the, quote, fourth and deadliest on an MSF-supported facility during this war. While there have been numerous attacks on other health facilities and services all over Yemen. That was the MSF, uh, MSF uh, statement. Since then, they have left, and others have too. How hard are you, yourselves, finding it on the ground? Indeed, there has been at least 92 attacks against, uh, against health centers. We are working, INSAF is working with a network of partners actually reaching all, the, all of the health facilities actually that are functional uh, at the moment in, in the country. So we are managing to reach uh, all the 22 governorates in the country with a package of uh, basic uh, health interventions actually for children and, and mothers. So we are thankfully reaching also through the mobile teams and outreach integrated campaigns for the most remote areas and the children that are uh, caught in active, uh, in active conflict. Yemen of course, one of the countries that is on the uh, travel ban list in this uh, very divisive executive order that's been uh, uh, um, published by um, Donald Trump, signed by Donald Trump, uh, there will be people on the ground in Yemen who will be desperate to get out. What's your message to Donald Trump on Yemen tonight? The situation of the children in Yemen is really dramatic, so we welcome any help that the, that the donor countries can provide. We have done great things together in terms of vaccination, in terms of nutritional supplies, and we hope that all the countries, including the, the people of the, of the U.S., continue to help the, the work of UNICEF. Mm. All right, with that, we're going to leave it there. We thank you very much indeed for joining us tonight.